Hello everyone and welcome to the next interview in our Fireside Cinema series. Today we are talking to Victoria Broom, who is an actor and producer, and she's here to tell us about her experiences in front of the camera and behind the camera. We also want to take this opportunity to tell you about our new event called Film Matrix that we're doing with Drama Centre London. That's taking place on the 4th of July at Drama Centre and we'll have all the speakers that we've been having and interviewing as well as some other really interesting people in the independent film TV space. So be sure to check that out. It's a free event. It'd be great to see some of you there. In the meantime, let's check out some of Victoria's stuff. Hope you enjoy the interview. Victoria, thank you very much for coming in and, and seeing us. We really like the look of your Life in Colours film, which won a lesbian Oscar. Tell us about that. It did. I know, it's quite exciting. Um, OK, so Life in Colours is an, like a 1940s lesbian drama. Um, it's set during a time when homosexuality was illegal. Um, you could be sent to prison, you could be punished by death, um, lots of silly things that were going on then. Um, and it's really just about uh, two women whose journey spans over a couple of decades. So they're friends um, from a very, very young age. They're not aware of anything sexual between them. They're, they're, they're very, very young. Um, and it develops into something quite beautiful. But because of the time that it's set, um, they had to conform to a society um, that, they're not, that they're not part of. So they both got married. But they joined together, and um, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> so no, um, incentivize the yeah, audience. Yeah, it's 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 a sad film. It's not it's not um, it's not a happy movie. Uh, it's it's very sad. Um, but there's a, there, there's a, a massive point to it. So and the lesbian Oscar um, was so the lesbian Oscars is by uh, Planet London. And they have run it for about five, six years. So it's not just lesbian movies, hmm. it's everything lesbian. So it's uh, lesbian personalities, like Claire Balding won last year uh, for Presenter. Um, you've got Radio, you've got Diva Magazine won um, for Magazine of the Year. Um, everything lesbian, really. Awesome. But we won Best Short Film, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, everybody who voted for that. <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the life in colours, yeah. how, how did you get the funding for that and the crew for that? Um, with life in colours, it's different to Love Without Boundaries, which is my new, uh, my new film that's now in post-production. Um, life in colours was a self-funded film. I begged, borrowed and stealed everything. <laughs> I found a manor house, which was incredible. I don't know how I managed to get them down from their £1,500 a day to £200 a day. Wow. Um, and it's a beautiful manor house. And they just happened to have shotguns, a horse, <laughs> lots of hunting gear that looked like it was from the 1940s. So I got all of that included wow. in my £200 a day. <laughs> and then... Um, I got some funding from people that were involved in the project as well, that believed in it, um, which, which was good. As a working actor, yeah. one of the things for a lot of actors that I meet is how, how do I get an agent and who is the right agent for me? <gasps> That's down to the individual though, who the right yeah. agent is. Um, I think I've just found my right agent. <laughs> <laughs> After however many years I've been doing it, I've found the one that I'm going to stay with. Um, it's so difficult, the agent thing. There are so many. Really, the best thing, the, the thing I can recommend and suggest for people to do is uh, watch a lot of films, of TV. Watch the stuff that you really, really like. 
find the actor that you really, really like. Don't look mm. at like, yes, Maggie Smith's amazing, but really, unless you're Maggie Smith, you're not gonna be with Maggie Smith's agent. Sure. So look at people that are kind of in your casting bracket, that are a name, yeah. but not completely out of the league of, mm. of names. But, and then search who their agent is, search who their agent was previously, mm. and just reach out to them. Just, the, a lot of people say, like, they used to say when I was a drama school, God, they used to say, oh, do a handwritten letter to the, <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't, really don't do that. Um, people like emails, um, put on, a, just do, just put on a link of your spotlight or right. your um, showreel. Don't add any attachments because it's, fills up yeah. their e the email addresses. And they probably get loads as well. Yeah, do they, and yeah. don't do a bulk message. Make it personal. Say, listen, I saw such and such in this. I thought they were, you know, amazing. I would really like to be considered. I'm in this show. Would you come and see me? Here's my show reel. All of that type of stuff. Brilliant. Um, but no, research the agency is what I would say. <laughs> i got another tricky question for oh, you. Oh, God. <laughs> what, what, is your, what is your process? Do you have one? Do you need one? Um... It took me about 10 years, no, longer than that. So I've been acting since I was 15, professionally, and it took me until I was about 28 to figure it out. <laughs> so it took, me, it took me a really long time to figure out, okay, okay, so this is what acting is, okay, I kind of like it. Mm. I can't really explain my process but it will come to the individual. Our big question that we always, we always ask at the end is oh, what, God. what advice would you give to aspiring filmmakers, artists out there who would love to make projects like you've done? Um, you really, if you're going to make a film, I think you really have to be so passionate about it. Um, get the crew and the cast on board that feel that passion as well. 